What is up, guys? So we are back here with another news video, Rarity Collection 2. All the uh, openings have dropped, and I'm pretty sure we know everything in this set because it's a pretty small set. I do love small sets. Small sets, uh, it's not about the size of the set. Actually, I don't know. I was trying to make a dick joke. I couldn't get it out. Point being, small sets do well because there's less stuff in it. Therefore, you're going to pull... Uh, you have a higher chance of pulling what you want, right? You're not going to buy a pack and want to pull crap you don't want, right? Like, it just it makes common sense. So the Mega Packs usually don't do that well. So, yes, in that regard, the set is doing some things right. So what is it not doing correctly? So off the hop, we already knew a couple of these reprints. We knew Rescue Cat, we knew DD Crow, we knew Rescue Rabbit, uh oh rescue rabbit is in here twice okay mm. and then we also knew fantastical dragon phantasme but uh okay so what cards in here that just don't make sense i'm just gonna call them out because i don't want to make this video too long and also by the way make sure you guys do go on twitter and follow dual daddy dual underscore daddy I don't think the uh, the capitalization really matters on Twitter, but it is capital D's in both cases because he provides a lot of really good infographics uh, for the upcoming sets. And I use his infographics quite a bit. So definitely go and follow him so he can, uh, you know, keep doing the uh, the Lord's work here, I guess. <laughs> so the the stuff that doesn't make sense to me. Chaos Hunter, just calling that out there. Uh, Raiko, the Light Sworn Hunter, doesn't make sense. Uh, honestly, the Silent Swordsmen don't make sense either to me. Uh, they might have been slightly more expensive recently, but the new Yugi archetype I don't think really works well with the original Silent Swordsman archetype. Could be wrong, but I don't think it does. Uh, what else do we have here? Let's zoom in a bit. Uh, do what doesn't make sense? A Luber. I'll, I'll allow a Luber. It's a cheap card, but it has called following. I'll allow it. G give it some shine. Sure, why not? Jet Dragon doesn't make sense because it's a really cheap card and it had a Starlight printing. Also has a Prismatic Secret Rare printing. Like it's good. Uh, purely. We knew about this, but in my opinion, also doesn't make sense because the purely deck has been doing too much, and it also it was already blinged out and and whatnot. I I, I personally I, I that's my personal bias because I hate the purely archetype, but you know it is what it is. I don't think it deserves it. Uh, this ancient and ascended dragon, unless it's doing something that you guys got to tell me about, I don't think it's deserving. Illusion of chaos. I'm gonna. It's the same thing as blue eyes jet dragon. It's a relatively cheap card had a starlight rare already it's kind of pointless to keep doing this and, and here's where I'll, I'll take a little break and talk about my opinions about the starlight quarter century rare stuff uh so konami keeps doing this shit where they're making the starlight rares completely useless and as a collector and as someone who sells cards that is incredibly bad first of all it signals to me as a collector that i shouldn't be buying these expensive ass cards because konami is just going to reprint them again essentially because the qcr and the starlight rare are basically the same thing people might have a preference for, for one over the other they're basically the same thing the prices might be cheaper for one, usually the QCR, like 99% of the time. But again, it's the same damn thing. One of them might have a stamp, but say it with me, they're the same damn rarity at the end of the day. Very similar. The, the, the differences are very minute that I don't think Konami should be double dipping. So Illusion of Chaos and Jetto Dragon, again, not, not it Konami. I will give them a pass with, with Red Eyes Dark Dragoon. The only reason is it, it's like one of the most sought after cards. And the Starlight Rare was in a crappy set that even Konami just keeps nuking to the ground with the reprint. So at this point, I'm just like, you know what? Konami hates Brothers of Legend. Let, let's just reprint everything for Brothers of Legend, including Red Eyes Dark Dragoon as a QCR. Fuck it. I'm, I'm with it. Full scent. Let's do it. Masquerade the Blazing Dragon, pretty decent pick, actually, but it should have been a Starlight to begin with, let's be honest. Guardian Chimera, really good reprint, actually. And actually, all the fusions, now that I'm going over it, except my boy over here, Striking Dragon, are really good picks. Garura has been going up in value. It's a really good super poly 
uh, pick in your extra deck or even signed deck and uh, giving him some shine is, is, is okay. In my opinion, Trishula, hell no. It got a starlight, I think as well, but it's been in every single high rarity and it doesn't see play. Like what the hell, what, what fan service is this? Who is clamoring for the ice barrier support, man? TG hyper librarian. I'm, I'm going to go with that. Nope. Cause uh, it might actually still be, is it banned? Hang on, is it banned? Because that might be one of the first times that... Okay, it's limited. Okay, okay. I was going to say, isn't it still banned? Um, Omega, I guess. But honestly, no. I'm going to go with the first three synchros. A pass on this one. Crystal Wing Synchro Dragon. Really good inclusion. It hasn't seen a lot of reprints. And it has been being, it's been bought out recently because Baronicus is missing in action because it's on the ban list. So the next, uh, somewhat generic because you do need to play heavy into the synchro archetype because it requires a synchro monster to, to, uh, as a material. Um, it, it's still somewhat generic in most decks. I'd say yes. Also, I mean, it did get a ghost rare, but it hasn't gotten a starlight, uh, QCR. Or an ultimate, I don't think, unless it got it back in the day. And, uh, yeah, I say go for it. Fuck it. blue Eyes Spirit Dragon, hell no, passing on that one. And that goes to another point. There's a lot of DM stuff in here. And, come on, man. Like, we we just, we need to stop it with that. I, I, on, the, on the subject of DM, let's, let's see what cards from DM actually needed reprinting. Alternative White Dragon, I'll give them. It, it was a $15 card. Magician Souls, I'll give it to them. Very sought after card. Jet Dragon, nope. Illusion of Chaos, nope. Red Eyes, Dark Dragoon. Uh, I'm gonna go with 50 50 on this one. It is, it's, it was an expensive card, but it doesn't really see a lot of play. So, yeah, I'll just go with yes. I'll lean more towards a yes. Uh, Blue Eyes, Spirit of Dragon didn't didn't need the reprint i'm sorry uh and if we see other dm stuff in here besides silent uh the silent archetype here because i already gave my opinions i guess i'll also give those opinions coral dragon i'm gonna go with nope on that one and psychic gun punisher because these cards are not as played or as generic and i mean who wants a, a qcr of a coral dragon who wants a qcr of Tr maybe there's trishula people out there I mean, there has to be people that that want that like the uh, ice barriers enough, right? Because Konami keeps printing the damn ice barrier, Trishula, and super ass high rarity, fucking I don't know. I keep swearing. Okay, so Abyss Dweller, decent, I guess. I mean, it's just a generic card. I, I, like, do people really want this as an alt or or as a QCR or something? I mean, I know I don't, so I'm I, I'm just biased in that case. And Rafflesia as well. Uh, actually, all these XCs are pretty terrible, except Dugaris, and the only reason I'm I'm saying that is like, who the hell is playing these archetypes? Actually, honestly, who's who are who, Abyss Dweller's a good side tech. Trap tricks are people still playing Trap tricks? Phantom Knights are people still playing Phantom Knights? And why would they pick this Phantom Knight? They could have gone with like, uh, uh, yeah, they could have gone with a better Phantom Knight actually. Uh. No opinion on this one. I've seen some decks use it. Exo Sister, I don't think people are playing Exo Sisters anymore. And Dugars is a pretty generic card, so I'll go with the hell yeah on that one. Heavenly Spheres, yes. Epilosa, yes. Much needed. Soul of Rage, actually, yes. $20 card. Uh, currently, I well, I guess it was. It might have dropped, actually, because of the news. IP Mascarina, honestly, I, I would say... We knew about this one, but I'm going to go with a no on this one. Because we already got an IP QCR and starlight rare and it was cheap as fuck so i'm gonna go with nope on this one and i think people are gonna be uh disagreeing with me on this one because it's a waifu but i'm gonna go with no on that one borland dragon i'm gonna go with no because i don't think it was being played access code yes because it was expensive as fuck underworld god is yes because of the upcoming uh cards that will be released or card i should say mind control no i get it i get it it, it was like a attack back in the day but i'm gonna go with no on this one poly again i'm gonna, get, I'm gonna go with no at least on this artwork uh mst i'm gonna go with no just because who plays msc like i understand the, the point where people are like hey uh old school players or goat format players have these uh, high rarity options but this set, in my opinion, uh, I mean, I guess it is called Rarity Collection, so it doesn't really have a time frame or 
a, an epoch, if you if you will. But I don't know, man. If they really wanted to throw in some cool uh, stuff for the old school cards, they could have made like a retro collection or something like that. And people would actually go crazy for that. And not only would these cards be in here, but also other cards like Sangin, Witch of the Black Forest, etc. Cyberstein, dude. Oh, man. Cyberstein as a QCR would have been so nice. But, again, it, it doesn't really fit this uh, this pack, in my opinion. Shoehorning in DM stuff uh, with the meta stuff, with the old school uh, staples. It just doesn't. It's like a mismatch of crap essentially it's it's a mismatch of stuff that makes it crap essentially foolish burial uh yeah i'll go with that it is a pretty it's staple in some decks book of moon sure enemy controller no it, it did just get an ulti uh, i'm gonna go with no on that one unfortunately uh gold sarcophagus hell no i think we already knew about this one too but this card always gets these rarity bumps and uh, yeah it's just nah Emergency T teleport. I'll go with that. Yes. Book of Eclipse. Uh, sure. Why not? I guess we got Book of Moon. Charge of the Light Brigade. Nope. The the both of these Light Sworn cards, by the way, could have been included in the uh, season one of Battles of Legend, the mismatch Mega Pack reprint set that they did earlier this year. But they didn't because they're fucking idiots. Preparation of Rights. Uh, eh. Pot of Duality. Eh. Forbidden Lands, eh, Exceeds Encore, Twin Twisters, Cosmic Cyclone. I'm going to go with eh and all of these. Again, they're old school staples. Forbidden Lands has seen some play. Pot of Duality has seen some play. Uh, but they're still more old school staples than than anything. They've been power crept, right? Like there's better pot cards. There's uh, better forbidden cards, honestly, with forbidden droplet. Uh, there's better uh, trap removal. Uh, I mean, even Harpy's Feather Duster. Why is Feather Duster not in here, actually? Heavy Storm would have been a better inclusion in here. Um, damn, dude. Yeah, there's a lot of dark, dark hole. Well, I guess dark hole already got a QCR, but Bingo Machine Go. Really good uh, reprint needed. So this is another DM card that I will actually say, okay, Konami, I see you. That's that's a good uh, inclusion here. Crossout Designator is actually an amazing reprint. That it, it it's much needed. It doesn't see a lot of play. I think this card is kind of overhyped, but it giving it like all these severity increases is actually pretty cool. Abomination's Prison. I'm gonna go with no on on these unchained cards to be honest because, uh, well, okay. They did need reprints, but they probably should have been reprinted in other sets. I'll go with that. And then Fusion Deployment. I mean, the the Fusion player in me says yes, but I'm going to keep it unbiased on this one and say hell no. Exos Exosister, nope. Uh, all of these uh, cash money cards and uh, tier elements and all that stuff. I don't know. They could have actually just done other cards within the archetype that would have been better. Ultimate Slayer, I guess. It doesn't see a play. It has a waifu in the, in the picture. Might as well make it a QCR, I guess. A piece to simps. Uh, the purely stuff, hell no. Uh, Pressure Planet, that's what goes with Cash Tira. They could have made Fenrir. They could have made uh, Unicorn. They could have made really any of the Cash Tira cards. Monsters, higher rarity. And uh, people would be a lot happier for it. Solemn Judgment, I'll give them. Sure, why not? Anti Spell Fragrance, no. Like, it, it, I don't think it's going to look good in this in uh, any other rarities, so I'm going to go with no. Skill Drain, again, I don't think it'll look good in, in any other rarity, so in that case, I'm going to go with no. Uh, and then all the other Solemn cards, sure, why not? So, oh my god, I didn't think I was going to spend this much time on it, but uh according to you guys because i actually like hearing from you and i want to incorporate more of this um hmm, community feedback i don't know what you would call it but uh i also want to if you guys are doing something cool i want to showcase this so if you guys do have art or anything go on twitter and um so my handle is right here i don't know why it's not coming up uh, Supreme King YouTube and just uh, send me a message and if I get enough people submitting stuff uh, then I can showcase it and yeah I just want to see some cool it, it could be artwork it could be anything that you're working on related to Yu-Gi-Oh uh, physical things as well if you if you sell merch you know send me a picture of it and if I think it's cool I'll showcase it um, but anyway so Kevin Lee says it seems decent for me sure it's got some filler but at least some cards that come in 
in and out of format are in it. It's not like the first rarity collection for sure, but I don't get why people are complaining since Konami didn't have to do this at all. And that does really keep you grounded because it's true. The There's no precedence for rarity collection 2 because uh, there is no rarity collection 2 in the OCG. Uh, where where in, in the OCG, they did have Rarity Collection 1, right? And that's what we kind of took and copied and pasted on our side. And uh, and it was good. But uh, he he does have a point. But uh, he also has a, another point where it's uh, he says it's not Rarity Collection 1. Um, so let's go to Rarity Collection 1. We had these amazing staples, guys. Lava Golem, Lone Fire Blossom, uh, I guess, uh, yeah. Lone Fire Blossom. Doesn't see play, but it is a pretty good uh, reprint. Effect Veiler, Ash Blossom, come on. Ash Blossom. Ash Blossom, I think, is already going to be like the out outshining every other card in Rarity Collection 2, actually. Uh, maybe not Magician Souls, but... No, nah, maybe even, even Magician Souls. Nibiru, bro, Nibiru... God damn, um, Mass Hero Dinklaw, like, what? What, Egyptian God Slime, that, ne that needed a reprint. Like, I'm just trying to remind you guys the amazing cards we had. Called by the Grave, Pot of Prosperity, Lightning Storm, Triple T's Forbidden Droplets, come on. Yeah, th this ain't no Rarity Collection 1 for sure, but... You know, it, it, I guess we did get a little treat again, and hopefully they do a Rarity Collection 3 next year, but the Rarity Collection 2 is somewhat disappointing. So, J.H. Tell T. I I don't know how to pronounce your name, man, by the way, but I, I always appreciate your, your comments. You always keep it uh, real, but he says, I definitely, definitely loving it because of the Dra Dragoon card. And uh, yes, it was shocking to me as well, by the way. Uh, epic upgrades for my deck and packed with staples, so I'm not wasting my money buying packs. That's not what's not to love. Yeah, so if you do play a lot of the uh, DM stuff or, uh, I mean, Purely also got a lot of stuff printed in here, then you are, you're a happy, you're a happy camper. Uh, Paint says better than mid, the Platinum Rare change is odd, which I haven't seen, um, so I might have to Google that. And, uh, but I'm happy so much will be easily accessible. And yeah, I agree with that one because, uh, and he has a point, like it's, it's easy to bitch and complain and whatnot, but it's not, it could have been worse. It could have been a lot worse. You know, we, we are getting access code pretty cheap cross on designator. Really good. Uh, Appalosa actually really good inclusion. And uh, although it was already a starlight, but you know, it hasn't it doesn't see a lot of reprint under underworld goddess? Um, what else in here? A luber, I mean, for the collectors, yes. Uh, Dragoon, definitely Garura and oh, Chimera is probably one of the goats for sure. But uh, okay, so who else? Eric Moreno, some power crept cards, lots of staples for people coming back for or starting Yu Gi Oh! I'll be picking up a box or two, but it does seem sort of underwhelming. Side note, what's with Konami banning and limiting floodgates and then reprinting them? Yeah, Konami just has a habit of uh, not knowing, I think, where the game is going, and that really leads me to the last part. You know what did they miss out? So let's just go. And I want to I want to prove a point. How easy it is for Konami to actually do this. You go to TCG Player, you go under Yu-Gi-Oh, Shop Ball, Best Selling, and then see the cards that people are looking at, and then uh, reprint them. So SP Little Knight actually would have been a really good inclusion. I understand why it's not in there, but nonetheless, I am throwing it out there. Uh, Bonfire should have been in there, honestly. Forty-five card, forty-five dollar card for a set that honestly people aren't even picking up anymore. It's out of sight, out of mind at this point. Probably has isn't even getting reprint, reprinted or printed anymore. Uh, Cash here, Fenrir. They missed the boat on that one. Uh, I know I saw some people t uh, talking about Lubion. Which let's see if he comes up. I saw I actually saw some people saying Chaos Angel was in the list, but I didn't see it from Dual Daddy's uh, breakdown, so I'm unsure if it's in there. I also saw some people say Triple Tactics Thrust was in, but I don't see it in the breakdown. So if it if Thrust and Chaos Angel are in there, honestly, my opinion of the set it goes up slightly because those cards are really expensive and there's Thrust right over there. Um, so maybe it is. I mean, the, the price seems pretty cheap for both, but, uh, let's see what else could they, 
uh, should they have put in there. And I'm trying to be as bi unbiased as possible as well. Obviously, the newer the newer cards are not going to be uh, in it because that's what Konami does, right? They they can't. They have to wait for the twenty the, the that year's tin to reprint them in the mega packs to sell the mega packs, and then they might sort of you know ease into printing the uh the cards more more often the viner of the herald definitely was a missed opportunity i i thought this was going to be in there that's why i sold most of my copies to be honest um let's see what else thunder dragon i thought i i thought i saw someone uh say colossus was in but i didn't see it in the breakdown either so maybe there are cards missing in here but uh let's see if colossus isn't in there after being uh taken off the ban list then yeah that's another missed opportunity a lot of these are newer cards so unfortunately you know um i mean destructive daruma karma cannon would have actually been a pretty good uh trap card uh now that i think of it because it has been going up in value it's a pretty good card and it's uh, a, po a powerful card in, in the newer meta as well better than anti-spell fragrance for sure let's see um as far as bestials a lot of the bestials could have actually been uh printed in here as well people are playing bcl still uh maybe not lubion i feel like lubion is still um well it hasn't been printed that much but uh drew drewy swarm could have been awesome ruddy rose would have actually also been a pretty good uh choice because uh the prismatic uh secret rare i i saw some people say trident dragon as well it's a hundred dollar card so yes definitely definitely but, uh, I mean, this is where I'm going to end it. I don't want to make this video too long. It's already probably 20 minutes. But I, I'm going to give it, I'm going to leave it there. I'm gonna, I'll, I'll give it to you guys. Uh, tell me in the comments, what do you guys think? Is this set good? Are you going to pick it up? How much are you going to pick up? Um, in my opinion, I think it's like um, like my man here, Paint, said. I love I love his uh, little icon as well with the um, hummingbird. But, uh yeah, it's slightly above average in my opinion as well. It's it's not terrible, it's not great, but uh, it's definitely not, uh, it's slightly above average. All right, guys, catch you guys in the next one.